Hello there everyone, today I'm going to do a video that's a little bit different from what I usually do. Um, I want to cover a topic that I've heard a lot of confusion about over the years and I don't think people really understand what um, the difference is between frosted incandescent bulbs and white incandescent bulbs. Because I've heard the terms used interchangeably and I've heard people say oh, one's th they're the same of each other but they're actually very different. Now in front of us here I have two packages that kind of look similar. They're the same bulbs but with different coatings. They're both SATCO 25 watt torpedo medium based incandescent bulbs but the ones on the left have a frosted coating and the ones on the right have a white coating. Now you might even be able to tell a difference when they're off. The white ones um, look white and the, the uh, frosted ones actually have more of a gray tinge to them. Um, but other than that they're identical and I'm going to obviously show the differences when they're on. Uh, let's take them out of the packages. This one's open. I'm not trying to destroy it too much. This I'm going to have to rip back open because I had stapled it. So here are the two bulbs side by side. Um, now, as you can see, the frosted version, which is on the left, has a much darker coating. It's more of a gray rather than a white. Um, obviously, the white is white. Um, you can see it much better out of the package, so I'm glad I took them out. And what I'm going to do is I actually have a special adapter that will allow the two bulbs to sit side by side. And then we can take a difference of what, how they look um, when they're on the differences, because there is a big difference. Um, I'll put the frosted one in first. I have a dimmer, but it's all the way up. And let's turn it on. Here we go. Now, with the frosted one, let me turn the lights off in the room. Right, Bill? So. Camera's not going to cooperate, but with the frosted one, the filament, you could see it glowing through the coating. So it's a frosted coating, but you could see a pinpoint of light in the middle where the filament is. Um, it's not as harsh as a clear bulb per se, but you can definitely, while the frost softens the filament's glow, you can definitely see it through the coating. It's not a perfectly opaque coating. Um, with the white bulb, which we'll put in next... It is a perfectly opaque coating. So it's not gonna work right on camera, unfortunately. Maybe if I dim them, let me see if I dim them. Oh, there we go. No. Yep, this is exactly what I'm trying to demonstrate. The white, the frosted bulb on the left, you can see the filaments glow through the coating, whereas the white one is even through and through. This is the white one, this is the frosted one. If I try to dim it even more, oh, that's brightening it. Let me... Yep, there we go. That kind of shows it and i think i i usually prefer the um the white coating yeah look there we go so the frost on the left you could see the filament glow through the frosted coating it's a lot lighter of a coating it's a lot um i don't want to say it's a cheaper coating necessarily but it's um not as thick. Yeah, there you go. You can see. Now they're both barely glowing. But the frosted one on the left, you can see the, the pinpoint of the filament. Whereas the white one is mostly just even. And it's also a difference in feel. The white is smooth. It's probably an inside white coating. Whereas the frost, it has like that matte 
um, you could hear me scratching it, that like matte texture to it. And um, this is like an outside frost, where this is most likely an inside white coating. But this is actually gives you a good view. So they're both barely glowing, they're both really dim, but the, the, the frosted one on the left, you can see the filament glowing through the coating, and the white one on the right, you really can't. If I brighten them up, when they're bright like this, you really can't tell. Um, I usually prefer the white version. Um, I think it's a softer light. I like the more even glow of the bulb. Frosted ones are nice, but I prefer the white ones. Unfortunately, the white are really hard to find. You know, I'm lucky I found these in the same shape as these, but um, in regular A19s, regular size bulbs, these are very common. In fact, more common than these these days, but in the candelabra bulbs, um, it's hard to find the white coated ones. I have, I think I have a package of 40 watt candelabra based ones. Uh, besides that, I really, they're kind of hard to come by, which is a shame because I prefer them over the frosted ones. I mean, the frosted is better than clear. Definitely not as harsh as clear, but the white is nicer in my opinion. Well, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I know it's different than my usual content and it was more so to be informational and to kind of clear up some confusion over the different kinds of coatings on bulbs. Because like I said, I've heard um, people say that, oh, the, the white bulb it's a, has a uh, soft white coating, but it's frosted. Or the other way around, oh, this, is, this bulb is frosted, but it's really a soft white coating. Especially like if you're looking at bulb descriptions online on Amazon or something, it'll say soft white finish. And if you look down in the product details, it'll say frosted. So I don't even think the manufacturers sometimes are putting the right descriptions down. But I hope this video can at least clear some of that up and show you, you know, kind of the visual differences in a, in a real life setting by showing the two bulbs side by side. Well, I hope you guys have found this useful. I thank you very much for watching.